Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Panda Dips April Exclusives, and I will be showing how I created this beautiful manicure using the colors inside, so let's get right into the video. So in this set, there are five exclusive colors, and the first shade is The Grass is Always Greener, and it is a beautiful holographic glitter. Here is Petal Power, a hot pink. Can't Top Me, a rose gold flake. Vintage Blossom, a darker pink flake, and Tiptoe Through the Tulips, a yellow base with some different colored flakes. And for this manicure, I will be using these three specific colors. I will also be using my Sparkle & Co. pink manicure stand, as well as my Sparkle & Co. base bond liquid. So I'm going to start off by doing my normal dip application, and I will be applying a thin even layer of the base to the entire nail, dipping into the powder, cleaning around the cuticle, and brushing off any excess powder. And for this specific design, I did sort of a different color on each nail. So on my pointer and ring finger, I did this hot pink. On my middle, I did the rose gold flake. And on my thumb and pinky, I did the green holographic glitter. And this manicure is super simple. It's basically just me doing my regular dip application for all of the products. Except for the flake powder, I did a little bit different of a technique and I will show that in the video. So I'm going to let you guys watch me finish up the second coat of this pink powder. And I quick want to pop in and say that these powders applied absolutely beautifully. And if you guys saw my review on the March exclusive set, I really liked that collection as well. And this one was definitely just as good as that collection. And I actually think I prefer the colors in this one a little bit more. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking these out. And I will leave all of the links and information regarding this collection below. And now that all of the pink powder is complete, I'm going to move on to my middle nail. So like I said, with these flake powders, I use a little bit different of a technique just so I can get the powder and flakes to lay flat. So I apply a thin layer of base bond, dip into the powder, and then I take a little bit of my activator and I just go over the flake areas to make sure that they lay flat on the nail. And basically the activator just pushes the flakes down and melts them into the color powder underneath. In this case it is clear, but it will also work with a colored flake powder as well. And here I'm just going to do a second coat. And sometimes when you use the activator the flakes tend to bleed a little bit, and I had no issues with that with this specific color so I was super impressed to see that. And now after I did the flake nail, I'm going to do the two green holographic nails and I only showed the pinky in this video, but I did also do my thumb with this color as well. And once I have done all of the colored powder, here are what the nails look like. So they look absolutely beautiful and I think these colors look really pretty together. And now I'm going to be taking Sparkle & Co DP90 Crystal Clear and clear encapsulate all of my nails. And this will just help protect the color from filing, especially with the glitter and flake nails. You don't want to take away any of the pigment and color underneath, so this is going to be a protective barrier layer against that. And after all of my powder layers are complete, I'm going to go in with Sparkle & Co Solidify and activate all of the nails. And I'm going to apply a generous amount of this to all of the nails to make sure that the powder is nice and hard and ready for filing. And like I mentioned in my March video, Panda Dips does have dip liquids, however I have not tried them out and I do find that these powders work really well with Sparkle & Co liquids, so that is what I did for this video. And I will be sure to leave the link to the Panda Dip liquids in the description in case you are interested. So then I went in with my buffer and gently filed the surface of all of my nails. And now I'm going to be using my Model 1's gel top coat to seal in the design. 
And this gel top coat is my current favorite. It leaves a really beautiful glossy shine on all of the nails. And after I applied a thin layer of this to each nail, I cured for 30 seconds and then I will come back for the finished design. And once the top coat is cured, I applied some Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil to rehydrate my skin and nails. And here is the finished design I was able to create using the Panda Dips April Exclusives. So I absolutely love how this manicure turned out. It is perfect for April and springtime, and I just love these colors together. I think that this collection was definitely one of my favorites from Panda Dips, and I am super excited to try out their next collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.